And again, 7 o'clock here. This is the breaking news. You're looking at the sky above the U.S. consulate in Erbil, Iraq, where we are getting reports that rockets have been fired on the U.S. consulate there. Um, there are reports, according to the Daily Mail, a Kurdish news channel office and an army base may possibly have been hit. These are long-range ballistic missiles fired by Iran. Yes, so let's get out to Ambassador, former U.S. Ambassador to Germany, Rick Grinnell, to talk more about this breaking news and what we're learning about it. Ambassador, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. All right, so we're seeing the video here, and these reports uh, indicate that several long-range ballistic missiles have hit the U.S. consulate in Erbil, Iraq. This is in Kurdistan, the northern part. Apparently, Rick, according to the reporting that I'm seeing, they've been fired uh, from Iran. What do you, uh, what's your take on the situation? Yeah, I think, uh, who knows exactly what's happening. There's all sorts of reports out there right now. I think we have to slow down. Certainly this is Iran backed, if not coming from Iran. Let's be honest, if these ballistic missiles are coming from inside Iran, this is a major escalation. Uh, they are clearly attacking uh, Erbil not only the U.S. consulate, but other targets. Uh, we'll have to see exactly where they were launched from, make no mistake. Uh, the counterterrorism center that I used to run as acting director of national intelligence is uh, filled with all sorts of activity right now. They're monitoring it. Americans should understand we know exactly where these were launched. We will know exactly who launched these and will be able to respond. This is a, a major escalation. Let's also remember this is the weekend of Qasem Soleimani's birthday. Mm. And this has been a target for a while to try to avenge for his death. Now, we don't know if it has anything to do with that, but the coincidence is strong. We also have to remember that inside Syria, there's been a lot of activity uh, that the Israelis have been trying to clean up some of the areas. And uh, there's no question that uh, specific Iranians who are inside and all over Syria uh, were killed and hit by some of the tasks that Israel was doing in trying to clean up the place. So we don't know what this is in retaliation over or if it's just an escalation because they're sensing weakness from the United States. Doesn't this also show us the folly of the Biden administration attempting to renegotiate the Iran nuclear deal? All week we've been hearing they've been getting closer to finalizing that deal, but yet, you know, the reports indicate that these missile attacks are coming from Iran, hitting the U.S. consulate in Erbil. So, you know, does this mean the Iran nuclear deal is dead now, Ambassador? Well, the Europeans are the ones that are saying it's dead. And remember that Joe Biden's um, po foreign policy right now is all about consensus. The opposite of America first is consensus. And that's what he values. The This White House wants to keep the Europeans happy, which is why they dropped the sanctions when Chancellor Merkel asked, drop these sanctions. You know, she asked Donald Trump to do that many times, and he said no. And she asked the Biden administration, and the Biden administration said yes, and it's because the Germans and the French and other Europeans right now get to veto our policy. It's called consensus. Joe Biden would rather keep the Europeans happy then move forward with what's best for America. He wants to see this kind of united, even if it's phony and fake, and absolutely not good for the Americans. You know, I'll just finish by saying this. Uh, we are a different target than, than Europe. I've heard from people many times in Germany say, well, you know, if Iran did get a nuclear weapon, they're certainly not going to bomb Frankfurt or Berlin. Uh, they know that they would go after other targets. So they are not as focused as we should be because clearly what we see is when Iran-affiliated groups get access to missiles, look what they do when we're seeing the evidence of this. And again, if you yeah. are just joining us, the breaking news is that a rocket attack has apparently hit the U.S. consulate in, in Erbil, uh, Iraq, the Kurdish area, and Iran is the one who has um, reportedly been firing them. Again, it's early on, as Ambassador Grinnell says, and there will be a lot we'll learn in the coming hours. Yeah. Uh, but again, this could be a clear escalation um, on Iran. and. and when we're already looking at Ukraine and Russia. So um, obviously the timing in this is obviously something that is very disastrous for us as well. Yeah, and it, Ambassador Grinnell, just to your point there about Germany and their own concerns, it's, it's pretty obvious how quickly they, they changed when they saw uh, Russia invading another European country. They changed their tune very quickly. Great to see you, Ambassador Rick Grinnell. Thanks so much. Thanks so much.